for people who've watched Last of the Summer Wine for any length of time, I'm told that one of the, the shortest of the two first policemen that were on <coughs> is the, a guy called Tony Capstick, or was a guy called Tony Capstick. And this is uh, Tony Capstick's, and it's called Capstick Comes Home. I'll never forget that first day at Pitt. Me and my father worked a 72 hour shift. Then we walked to him, 43 mile. He has bare feet. It freezes snow. Huddled inside his clothes, made out an old sex. As we stumbled up a hill, we could see street lights twinkling in our village. My father smiled down at me with icicles hanging off his nose. Nearly home now, lad, he said. We stumbled into ours, frozen cold and shivering, miserable and wet through, in front of meagre fire. And he rode, my mum says. Cheer up, lads. I've got you some nice brown bread and butter for your tea. He, <laughs> my father, went crackers. He reached out and grabbed my mum bit right. He pulled her towards him. He said, you great big fat ugly warrant, you great useless spawny eyed parrot face twillop. In a way we were, so I know my father, he'd been to college. <laughs> That's been out playing bingo all afternoon, instead of getting some right snap ready for me and this lad. He explained to me, poor little purple faced man. Then turned it to me, he said, Arthur, he could never remember my name. Here's all for crown, then it down at chip oil and get us a nice piece of it for his tea. Man cannot live on bread alone. He would have right tate my father. But he always said, as our working folk should have some dignity and pride and self-respect. And I'll say, come on, to sum up warm and cheerful. Then he threw me mum up fire. <laughs> <laughs> we had no tea them days. With no supermarkets, social security, <laughs> free bus pass. I bet you're enjoying this at the back there, aren't you, Austin? <laughs> Winter fuel allowance, no plasma tellies, shoes and bed clothes. Our, I, I, I'm not kidding, this isn't on here. How are I did down with a Yorkshire Woolen District bus driver's overcoat? <laughs> <laughs> in in fact, it, it still is. <laughs> <laughs> We made us all funny them days. Does I know when I were a lad that could get a tram down into Josbury, buy three new suits, another coit, four pair of good boots, go see George Formby at Empire Theatre, get blind drunk, have some steak and chips, bunch of bananas and three stone of monkey nuts, and still a change out in the farthing. <laughs> We'd loads of things in them days they don't have today. Rickets, <laughs> diphtheria, impetigo, scarlet fever, brimson and treacle, Hitler, hunger, and we looked wheel going to school with no backside in his breeches, and all his little ears spent at purple because we had ringworm. They don't know they're born today. 